Uh, welcome or uh, welcome back and I need help. In this example, we're going to look to a problem where we are asked to find an equation of our parallel lines to a given line. So right? line A, B, it's given, we see the two points. And that parallel line goes to point C, which you see here. Okay, so what can we do here to solve this problem? First of all, we're going to need to find the slope of line that goes through the points AB. And since we have a graph, the easy way is to draw this slope triangle in the count. One, two, three, four. That is the rise. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is the rise. And it's going to be negative because it's going down from left to right. And if we simplify, we get negative two thirds. Now I'm going to call this one M sub 1 because we're talking about two lines. This one and the one that is going to go through this point C. Now, that second line is going to have the same slope. Why? Because parallel lines have the same slope. And then we have a point given, which is point C, which has the coordinates negative 3 and 4. So how are we going to handle this? We have two choices. One will be y equals mx plus b, which is the slope intercept form, we can do that. And the other way will be y equal y minus y1 equals n times x minus x1, which is called the point slope form. I'm going to go with the second one, and I'm going to have y minus, okay, this is y1, 4 equals n. n is the slope we found, negative 2 thirds, right? And then x minus, this is x1, negative 3. Okay, so we can do a little bit of simplification here. y minus 4 equals negative 2 thirds, x plus 2 thirds, x plus 3, I'm sorry. And now if we look here and we have the standard form, probably the best way to handle is multiplying by 3 in this moment, both sides, right? Wherever you go on the left side, you go on the right side. Distributive property here, so we end up with 3y minus 12 equals these three cancel out as there is a new multiply. And here we have negative 2x minus 6, right? If we do the distributive property. And the standard form is something like this ax plus by equals c. x and y on the same side, so therefore I'm going to add 2x here to cancel out the negative 2x here. Don't forget to do the same thing on the left side. And I'm going to add 12 here to get rid of the number here. And obviously I have to do the same on the other side. So what do we get here? We get 2x plus 3y equals negative 6 plus 12 is positive 6. Yep, that is the answer. 2x plus 3y equal 6. And here you can see a graphical approach which is also very good sometimes uh, if, it's, uh, if uh, the numbers are friendly uh, and you see the y-intercept you know the slope you can go from here if you want. If you enjoyed this video here don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.